Hi and welcome again to the South China Morning Post Racing Podcast. I'm Alan Aitken and firstly a look at the news in Hong Kong racing and of course we have the Mission Hills Sha Tin Trophy, the big event on the weekend and John Moore is leaving it up to jockey Darren Biedman as to which of his strongly fancied stable mates he rides collection or Viva Pataka. Now a couple of weeks ago there looked to be no contest that Biedman would choose Viva Pataka, the reigning horse of the year, over last season's Hong Kong Derby winner, Collection. But since that trial, in which Collection looked to do things a bit tough, he's come along in leaps and bounds, and John Moore reported yesterday both horses now in great condition going to Sunday, and he's going to leave the choice up to Biedman. And Biedman, for his part, he said he's leaving it as long as he possibly can. Wednesday, of course, is On The Rails Day, and I invite you to take a look at the rails today. It's in the South China Morning Post, of course. Pick up a copy with tonight's lift out for Happy Valley, or have a look online at www.racing.scmp.com. The lead item deals with the fall of Matthew Chadwick at Sha Tin recently, a fall for which no rider was found uh, to uh, take the blame when stewards inquired into it on Monday. And also I take a look at Bart Cummings, the Australian trainer who is well beyond being a trainer. He is a living legend and we have a look at his power of positive thinking. That's in the rails column, the on the rails column, today in the South China Morning Post. Well, the feature tonight at Happy Valley, the American Club Challenge Cup. It's the sixth race on the card and it's 1,000 metres around the valley and that means Hong Kong superstar. This horse has had 20 starts in Hong Kong but he's only had four at this course and distance and this is where he's effective. He's had two wins, two seconds, and both of those seconds might easily have been wins in slightly different circumstances. Hong Kong Superstar has an ongoing breathing problem which doesn't seem to affect him over the Happy Valley 1000 metres because the pace is always on and riders don't need to restrain him. But when he goes to other tracks and other distances, that all changes. So back to the scene of the crime, the Alex Wong Yuan trained Hong Kong superstar should get the run of the race from Barrier 2 under Douglas White. And he's our front page special for the American Club Challenge Cup at Happy Valley tonight. Jockey challenge time and Douglas White, a worthy 3.4 favourite. When the odds went up last night, ahead of his arch rival, Brett Preble, at 5.0. But I've gone for a surprise result in tonight's Jockey Challenge, with £10 claiming apprentice, Ben So, looking a knockout chance at $17. Now, uh, key to tonight's program is going to be barrier draws and horses that race on the pace and close to the rail, because the fence is in the C position. Well, Ben So is going to get that all night. He's on natural leaders in almost every ride and horses that are going to have light weights and be in front and on the rail. So uh, he might be the value in tonight's jockey challenge. Ben So, he hasn't won it before. Tonight might just be the night. And at $17, he's juicy odds. Best bet, and this one wasn't too tough to work out. Race 5, number 2, El Moro. The Casper Founds trained sprinter was very impressive on his Hong Kong debut at Sha Tin. He had previously trialled very well at Happy Valley prior to that, and he should make it 2 from 2 in Race 5 tonight. That's my best. Race 5, number 2, El Moro. Well, that's all for this edition of the South China Morning Post's Racing Podcast. For more on any of the stories you've heard here, please have a look online at www.racing.scmp.com or pick up your copy of today's South China Morning Post. I'm Alan Aitken. Good punting.